so um, I, I ended this I ended the last vlog on the same day look at my like stockpile of Thanksgivingness so I don't get back until Thursday and I just couldn't like wrap my brain around how tired I think I might be and this just makes me smile one of the Rutherford girls made that for me anyway um, I can't, you know what's funny is that normally when I'm vlogging, I don't see, I can't see myself. I'm using my phone today. And so I normally can't see all the stuff in the background. <laughs> anyway, good gracious. So I did get the vlog edited and uploaded, which hopefully you guys have seen already. And I am going to take my laptop with me though, because I did not get my empties done. I'm cutting things really close. It's 10, 15. I need to drive to the bank to deposit some checks. And you know, it's just kind of one of those crazy sort of mornings. I got, I did get a lot of work done, but I just, you know, it's just not a day. I really, anyway, I feel like I was saying something else and I've already forgotten, but yeah, I am going to bring my laptop with me. That's, that's what it boils down to. So I'm going to pack up and get out of here and I'm going to try to do check-ins kind of along the day today. I'm traveling with my boss and while she knows that I do this, she's fully aware. Uh, I just don't, I don't want to be like obnoxious with it either. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want her to be like, seriously, I not everybody is okay with it, and I just don't know, she, don't know how she will be with it. So anyway, all right, I'm going to pack this up, and I'll see you guys in Good morning, week. you guys. Um, I wanted to show you, this is why I haven't vlogged until today. So it's Wednesday. Um, I'm not feeling 100% either. I've had a stomach kind of thing for, I don't know, I think I actually started Monday. So I'm not feeling exactly 100%, but whatever. It is what it is. Anyway, so see how dark it is in here? This is why I haven't really vlogged much at all. <clears throat> <clears throat> Most of the time I've been when I was in here, I got back here, it was dark. But um, I am in Yakima, downtown Yakima. I'll show you what. Oh, I can't. I forget that I'm using my phone, and so I can't just like flip it around. That's not really how it works well. But anyway, so that was my view for the week. Uh, I am, I've got all my stuff packed up, as you can see. I'm carrying my boots because I forget. I, normally I'm really good about planning for trips as far as what I'm packing, what's gonna be happening throughout the trip, that sort of thing. And I kind of forgot about the, we have a hotel move from today. We're checking out here and checking in um, to a hotel in Pasco. Oh, there's a light over here I can turn on because our flight is at seven o'clock tomorrow morning out of Pasco. Uh, anyway, so I thought I would just show you yesterday. Oh, I can't, I really can't get an angle. Sorry, you guys. Yesterday, I, I was I'm really just kind of like, casual as far as dress pants and a sweater because I'm in I'm in our facility and I'm training our people you know what I mean I don't need to be in a blazer or anything <clears throat> and actually truth be told I got rid of a lot of my blazers I think I maybe have one or two left but anywho so I hope you guys have had a good week so far uh I, I just don't have really much to report um I said <laughs> look there you go there's me vlogging uh aside from you know, the training and travel, the travel day on Monday was brutal. <laughs> it was fine. Everything went smoothly. It just was long. So you, f I fly in, we flew into Minneapolis and then we took a train from Minneapolis to Seattle. And then we took one from Seattle to Pascal. And then it was like an hour and a half from there, an hour and 20 minutes from there. Parking, check-in, all that sort of thing. So it just was a really long day. And you know, we got here at like 8.30 Washington time, which is in my head, 10.30. So anyway, um, again with the anyway, seriously, charging? I'm kidding, totally kidding. All right, so yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on. So I, we have training today, go to Pasco, and then, or I am, I am training our employees today, going to Pasco, and then I'm um, getting to bed early, hopefully, because that flight is gonna be super early in the morning. Not as early as the one I had last week when I leave at six, but I'll be wearing the same hat on my head nonetheless. This and travel on the way back isn't quite as bad. It's only two planes on the way back instead of three, and it takes a little bit less time. I don't really understand how that all works, but <laughs> something I don't know. Obviously, with the, without the without three hops, when you only have two hops, it's a little bit quicker. But I don't know. I'm not complaining. I just want to get home. And when I land, then I have a couple things I need to do right away before I go home, and then and then home, and then I have some. Um, appointments next, next week and then I'm off Wednesday to prep for Thanksgiving my parents will be over and on Wednesday to help with that anyway that's what's happening so far I just thought I would give you a little check-in and say hey 
and yeah, I'm going to go down and grab some coffee. I don't think I'm going to eat anything, <laughs> um, but I need coffee or I'm going to get, or I'm going to have a headache to go with this story. All right, guys, it is 3.11. We just checked into our hotel in Pasco, which is where we're flying out of. And I, ne I never get upgraded, ever. I'm going back here so I can show you. Um, in a hotel, I don't ever get upgraded. So I'm going to show you guys. I got, I don't know why. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why I got upgraded, but I did. And so I'm going to show you guys. There's just a lot of space. So when you walk in, there's just, this is, this little separate sink area, bathroom, with a walk-in, which I prefer, and a sliding thing so you don't get attacked by the shower curtain. That's always nice. And like, a, oh, here, now you can see my outfit of the day that I could show you earlier. <laughs> Not too exciting. Um, although the, my sweater is, is one of my favorites, but some little couch, little TV, little, or not little, king size bed, and then fun little sort of mini bar area. So yeah, really, really nice. Oh, and I forgot to show you the most, the best part. Instead of, instead of like starting and stopping, I'm going to turn this around and hopefully you guys can see. Um, I mean, how pretty. This is, oh gosh, I don't remember. Columbia, maybe? You guys see the ducks? I'm trying to see if you guys can see. Yeah, I think you can. But really, really pretty. Such a pretty view. I'm home. Oh, good gracious. Uh, I actually am home. I stopped home to pick up uh, the key for Wilson Muppet's house. I had to go do something over there. And uh, then I ran to Walgreens because I had to <laughs> get some stuff there. I actually needed to get a card. Aaliyah's birthday, my church cutie, old church cutie. Her birthday is tomorrow. And so she, I needed to get a card for her. And I don't know that I'm going to get to see her tomorrow, but Saturday morning is the backup plan. And before she goes off to Sky Zone with her friends, this is her first year of a friend party instead of an adult party, like adult family party. I push guys here for a second. While I take off my jewelry. So then I came home and unpacked. It's quarter after five now. I had, I made that shepherd's pie earlier this weekend. Bob had, went out to dinner with somebody and had some lunch. Anyway, he didn't make it this week. And so I made it, um, we, we knew before we, I left actually that he had kind of thought through things and had decided that, <laughs> this is driving me crazy. He had decided that he didn't need, didn't need it after I made it. So, bonus, I have dinner handled for tonight. So I just put that in the oven. He should be home from the woods soon. I think he took vacation today. Actually, I don't know for sure, but he took vacation today. Um, spent the day in the woods. So, I'm going to put on my pajamas at 5.15, wash my face. The Packers are on tonight, and so we will see for Thursday Night Football playing the Seahawks, interestingly enough. Just, I say that because I just left Washington State. But, so we will see how long I make it. In, in my world, it should only be 3.15 because they're two hours different out there. But nope, it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> so usually I make it, I was just talking to a friend about this, usually I make it till halftime. And if we have it well in hand, or if we're losing by a whole bunch, then I just go to sleep. But if it's close, then I tend to stay up until it's over. But, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what ends up happening. And then tomorrow, um, I don't really need to put in a full day because of, I have a bajillion hours in already. So I will work most of the morning. I have to shoot out for a quick Cairo appointment. Um, at 11.15. I could not remember what time my appointment was, but I saved my card because I knew I wouldn't remember. It's at 11.15. And then I have a hair appointment in the afternoon, late afternoon though, like 3.30, something like that, just to get my, my bonds moved up on my extensions. And thankfully we are not going to dinner tomorrow night. I, it's a long story, but um, the short version is I have a nail appointment and a pedicure on Tuesday that I need to change because I'm going to be picking up um, Stephen from the airport to bring him to where his vehicle is. So, yeah. I don't know how that's not going to work. But. All right, maybe I'm hopefully going to get to editing some of the footage that I've taken the last couple of days. I, I promise to try to be better, especially if you guys want me to do Vlogmas. I promise to try to do better, but... Um, I was about to take this hat off, but that would be really scary for you guys. Um, 
but sometimes it just, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't happen. And I'm looking at, I think, I have a feeling my, my December is going to be very similar to last year where I have a lot of travel. One of the trips is for sure in-state, just on the Milwaukee area, which is good, but whoo, buddy, I'm going to have a lot going on. All right, I'm going to get going, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. So it's Saturday morning, and I'm like making sure I'm collecting all my things here. I, what time is it? I'm going to put my watch on. I get my steps counted here. It is 7.04 and I got up like 15 minutes ago. Aren't you guys impressed with me? <laughs> I did not set my alarm and I thought for sure, I don't know if this is a new vlog or not by the way, but I really don't know. I, I have to look at the footage today. Um, I, I did not set my alarm. I do have things to do today, but I don't have a crazy full day like normal, like normally, excuse me. And I'm struggling to put my watch on today. So I said, I'm just going to let myself sleep. So I'm going to do a couple of things and then I'm going to sit down and have some coffee. I, I like to get a few chores done before I have my coffee. Um, a lot of that's because I've just brushed my teeth and I'm not interested in, um, I need a towel. I'm not interested in coffee when I've just brushed my teeth. So my standard morning procedure, not that anybody cares, but is that, you know, I wake up, I brush my teeth. I usually, you know, shower, skincare, then come out and make my coffee. And by then, like the fresh brushed teethness, teethness is out of my mouth. And then um, I will go about my day, da, 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 and then I brush my teeth again later after I've had my um, breakfast at like nine. Anyway, my point being, I don't, nobody wants coffee right after they've brushed their teeth, but I also have to brush my teeth when I, right away when I wake up. I just do, it's just it's the way it is. So what I'm gonna do right now is I need to wash my travel brushes. Um, I maybe am going to film that video today since people wanted to see that, but, or tomorrow, the brushes are gonna be wet today. So I'm gonna do that. And um, I'm, I want to film the winter Fabbit Fun box today. And I need to make two or three batches of toffee today, probably three, for the cookie walk, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So you can make toffee in advance, which is awesome. So I'm going to get that done today. And I need to make some pumpkin rolls today, probably four of those. So that's it. I really don't have a lot to do. Um, I'm like sitting here like staring at my makeup face. So I'm going to start by getting my brushes washed and I will check in with you guys. All right, I thought I would do a little check-in. You guys, I still haven't eaten or had any coffee yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. Aside from the fact that I need to go to the Walmart. Ugh, I don't like going to the Walmart during the holidays at all. Much less the weekend before Thanksgiving, much less it's 9.15 in the morning. But I'm happy to report that as of 9.15, I have two pumpkin rolls. Oops. Sorry, I dropped the camera. Two pumpkin rolls. These are, I'll link the video below if you guys want to check it out. These are baked and rolled up, so they're cooling. They have to cool for an hour, but they're going to cool for a little more than an hour. I do, this is here because I have to go to the store because I didn't get enough eggs. Silly Kristen. And then I have two batches of toffee that have already been made, cooled, and cracked. So I am going to have a little bit of coffee, I think. Then I'm just going to throw a hat on and run to Walmart and get the few things that I need to get. It's eggs. Eggs is what I messed up. Um, and I think I'm going to run to the uh, Amish store while I'm out and get brown sugar for the rest of my toffee making brigade for the rest of the year. So anyway, I just thought I would give you a little check-in. I've been up for a little over two hours and I feel like I've been relatively productive. And I've watched a uh, Christmas movie, Christmas at Holly Lodge, that I had DVR a few days ago. So, so far today, so good. Hey guys, it's 11 o'clock and I went to... I went to Walmart, I went to Aldi, I went to the Amish store. I was going to show you guys. I've already emptied some of this. So what this bag started out as is just, well, 11 and a half pounds of brown sugar at 79 cents a pound. For, so I got all the brown sugar I'm going to need for my toffee for $10. I'm telling you. If you have one around that you haven't gone into, you need to go check it out. Such good deals. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is in Aldi, I went down the Isle of Death. I blame a friend. But anyway, I went down the Isle of Death. And I found this. 
and I don't have a cheese board at all, and this is a nice kind of smaller size. I, I wouldn't do like a, this he, big, huge cheese board, but I could see myself doing something like this. So I got this. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is, if you remember a while back, I got one from Aldi that was in leaves. It actually was called leaves. I'm burning it over there, actually. And it's a soy blend. And this one is in fresh balsam. It smells so good. And it's $4. Mm. That's going to be great once holidays come. Um, that won't be till December. We'll run that December. But this is the one in leaves. I've got a ton of burn time out of it. And you can tell it does not burn dirty at all, like the Bath and Body Works ones do. And $4 versus $22. I know you can get them on sale and stuff too, but I don't know. I'm just saying. I, and I, I long since have stopped hoarding the <laughs> Bath and Body Works candles. So anyway, I came in right away and started working on the, uh, these other two pumpkin rolls that I want to get in and going. I'll get those in the oven. And then I'll ice those other ones and get those wrapped up in the freezer. So I'm cooking along. It's, it's 11 o'clock now. I can't remember if I said that or not. And um, once I have this all done, I think I might make these millionaire shortbread bars to um, bring to, to church for the uh, like social hour we have after church. I might do that. I haven't quite decided. It's not my week, but I kind of am curious about making these. Anyway, I may not. But, and I'm going to dip the toffee, I think, either today. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow, but I am going to sit down and rest. I'm, I'm promising myself and you guys, I'm going to sit down and rest. Not as quickly as I thought things were going to get done. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But, um, but I did get toffee dipped. So let me get cool completely there. Um, it's probably cool right now, but I'm just... I'm erring on the side of too cool because if, it, if I put it in when the chocolate's even warmish at all, then the fat can separate from the chocolate and it's all bad. Anyway, um, all the pumpkin rolls, I'll show you how I do them. So this is my needs to be washed. So I have them wrapped, double wrapped in saran wrap and then double wrapped in foil. And then they go in the freezer just like that. And I don't know how long you can keep them like that for, but for quite a long time. Mine are for Christmas, so our Heidi's, and you know, we're six weeks out and they will be just fine. So, anywho, that is what's going on. And I am done in the kitchen for today. I'm pretty tired. So I did clean up my sinks. Um, I scrubbed them all down. That's just one of the things I like to do. Coming into Thanksgiving, I get out the, I use, here, I'll show you what I use actually, in case you're curious. I use the soft scrub with bleach, and that um, gets the stains. Remember I was trying to find something to get the stains out of there? I've always used soft scrub, and then I grab the one with bleach, and that seems to have fixed the problem. So, because I'm going to be rinsing out the turkeys and everything in there, um, I just like to make sure it's extra clean. And then I will do the same cleaning after I'm done with the turkeys. So, and yes, turkeys. <laughs> Two of them. And even so, I don't know that we have enough. I did a 20 pounder and a 10 pounder, and I just don't know. We have 23 people, possibly 24. Although some of them are kids, so we should be fine. But I'm not sure we're gonna have enough leftovers for Bob's taste. <laughs> so anyway, all right, I'm gonna go shake those towels outside so that I can get them washed up. And uh, I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. I only had one today. I have not eaten anything today, so I'm going to do something about that <laughs> and uh, sit down for a little bit. Good morning, you guys. I'm sorry. I know I look like junk and I'm talking quietly because it's five and Bob doesn't have to get up until six. He's going in just for a couple hours before church this morning. So I wanted to show you. He knows that I have to get up and do this. <laughs> so um, I have to use the immersion blender. So I feel kind of badly about that, but. I made apple butter overnight using Laura, Laura's um, recipe, Laura in the kitchen. And so these have been cooking for 10 hours in the crock pot. Um, her recipe, I'll link it below, is just her um, apple, apple butter recipe on Laura in the kitchen. 
that guy. Seriously, I just repeated myself. Sorry, no coffee, you guys. Okay, so now I just need to immersion blend this. It's been cooking for 10 hours on low, and you can see mine just switches to warm. Um, after, after And so then you let it sit with the top off for three hours. So um, that's what's going to happen. I'll show you what it looks like after I immerse and blend it. All right, so that is what it looks like now that I've blended it. And you can see kind of the thickness that it is currently. And now you just let it cook down on high for about three hours, and that'll thicken up. And then you can can it if you want. I think you could probably pressure cook it as well, or pressure can it, whatever, you know. I could water bath it, but I intend to just um, put it in jars, and I will keep some, and I'm going to give some away. Just, I don't know, I just wanted to make it again because I liked it so much, and, sorry, I know I usually look rough in the morning, but this is pretty rough. Um, I usually, it, you know, you can see my CPAP lines and stuff, but... I like to put a couple of teaspoons of it over uh, my overnight oats, and it adds a nice little bit of sweetness um, and some extra really, really good flavor. So anyway, I want to show you guys that. That's literally all I got up to do. I know I'm not going back to bed. I'm going to uh, start my laundry, and I may hop in the shower, um, and we'll see. If Bob gets up, then I'll start doing some stuff. And if he doesn't, I might read a little bit. I brought my book out. So, anyway, that's what's going on so far this morning. And happy Sunday. All right, you guys, it's 8.15, and now I have a little bit of a quandary. I'm not quite sure what to do. So, the last time I made this, I just didn't have it, the apple butter. I just didn't have it super thick because I made it later in the day. I had the cook down happening at night, and I wanted to go to bed. So, I just let it be... You know kind of saucy it's definitely i think supposed to be thicker than this not i think i know it's supposed to be thicker than this but i have to leave for church so i'm not quite sure what to do here exactly so i'm gonna let it go for now i'll be back in a couple hours so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn this off and then i'm gonna cook the do the cook time back to four hours on high and just let it do its thing and hopefully when I come back, it'll be thicker. And if it's not, then I may just put it on the stove and cook it down a little bit. Not a big deal. I just don't have time to do that right now. So I thought I would show you a quick outfit of the day. If I was in the shower, but, um, and I don't know. I just cut his hair. You can see this is the hair cutting setup. So I did, um, I kind of went all black today. These are the Vince Camuto leggings that look a, li a lot like a lot more like pants than legging leggings and this is that castle on sweater it's the back zip one that has the little you know it's hard for me to show you the back zip but and then i threw on my these are vince kabuta booties actually that are they're in the color sorry okay i tossed the slippers out of the way so um these are in the colored tornado i got them last year and i like them a lot they're very comfortable and i don't know i just i, I had black on and then i just threw these ones on to it i don't know just breaking things up. I, I really don't know. So, anywho, I'm off to church. I need some perfume. Um, and Bob's going to meet me there. He got home later than he expected, and so I just quickly cut his hair. And now he's going to shower and meet me at church. So, and then I think I'm going to go to Appleton because I have all my laundry done. I have one, the last load is in the washer. I just need to get it in the dryer. I was kind of hoping that was going to happen before I left for church. But, Apparently. Good Monday morning, you guys. I don't remember if I checked in at all yesterday or not. No idea. But look at I bought a new sports tree, meaning a Christmas tree that, well, I put my sports ornaments on. The one that we had is kind of like this weird little one I got in sale for like $10 at Walgreens after Christmas a couple years ago. And it's just, it's looking a little worse for the wear, so. Thought I would do a really quick outfit of the day, and then I need to scoot out of here. All right, so I have two customer visits today, and I am wearing, these are the black straight alley something from Lane Bryant. And then I'm wearing a bodysuit by Marste, that's Marlena's brand. I've never had a bodysuit before, so I thought I would try it. And then just a black blazer. You can see the, whatever, lapel is a little bit different on this one. And then just Burberry scarf. And 
these earrings are Kendra Scott. And then I gotta tell you, I really feel like this is going to be my, um, not my hairdo, because my hair is driving me crazy, but this is going to be kind of my Christmas look, I think. This is that Becca eyeshadow. I threw a little bit of a warm brown, warm darker brown in the outer crease. And this lip is actually Chanel in Rouge V. It was from fall a couple years back, and I just love it. It just, it's one of my favorites. So I have a liner with it as well. I can't remember what the liner is. So I'm about, my customer's been an hour away, but here I'll show you guys. If I can show you out. I can't remember if I can see the street from here or not. But um, it's snowing, not a major way. Just enough, there we go. Just enough that it makes things um, slippery, pretty slippery. So I'm leaving about 15 minutes earlier than I need to, just to be safe. Uh, in case it's slow traffic, I would rather take my time than put myself in a ditch and miss one of my appointments. So then I'm taking as my lunch today, I have my hair appointment and my extensions moved. It takes about an hour and then, oh shoot. I printed something and forgot to grab it off the printer. And then I have an appointment at 3. Sorry to pick something up off the ground. I have an appointment at 3. Another one at 3.30. Work stuff, I mean. So yeah, I'm handling all of that today. Obviously, I've gotten some stuff done this morning. So I'm going to hop in the car. I've got a jacket in the back. So I don't have to wear one. We'll see you guys later.